Last time, we talked about missing speed. Today, let's talk about time when it comes to two vehicles traveling in opposite directions. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro kanina, today we're going to talk about missing time when it comes to two vehicles moving in opposite directions. If you haven't seen the other parts ng series na ito, it's a full revamp and comprehensive series on motion problems. You can click right here sa i button if you're watching this on YouTube to catch up and watch the other videos that are already made. Alright? And if you're done with that, um, I just want to tell you a little bit about yung ating merch shop. You can go to shop.teamlaika.com to get the exclusive uh, hoodies, um, jackets, the shirts, caps, and things that I decide for this team. It's a great way for you to help me help more people dito sa channel neto because all proceeds do on go to our Hope Fund which helps keep this channel going. So thank you so much for all those of you who already bought your merch. Um, really, I'm very grateful that you do that and I'm really happy when I see you wearing them. Uh, it makes me so happy because I actually designed those personally. So salamat sa inyo. And now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my PC so I ex can explain you ating problem of the day and I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so let's talk about yung motion problems. Again, two vehicles, pero this time, hindi na speed ang nawawala. We're talking about missing time. So if you haven't seen yung video lesson natin last week when we talked about kung paano hanapin yung missing time sa vehicles traveling in the same or opposite directions, ililink ko na lang din siya sa taas, alright? Ngayon, it's different. The problems kind of look like this. So, pag ganito yung problema, ano yung gagawin natin? Now, before we discuss this, just a quick refresher lang, recap ng ating formula. When it comes to motion problems, sa pinaka-basic na formula is yung speed is equal to distance over time. So, again, that's S for speed, D for distance, and T for time. Tapos pag uh, hinahanap na natin yung iba, so for example, itong hinahanap ay speed, itong formula. Kung gusto mo hanapin yung formula for distance or time, we use yung methods like yung deriving the formula using yung rules ng equality or yung speed, distance, time triangle na tawag natin. Ginagawa natin dito to find speed, i-cover natin yung speed. So ang formula is distance over time. Kung hinahanap ang time, i-cover natin. So distance over uh, speed siya, and then kung distance naman ang hinahanap, hanapin natin yung speed times time. Okay? All of these things we discussed in earlier videos na. Ngayon, i-apply natin siya kung ganito yung problem. Now, a quick read-through muna would be this. Sabi, Mimi left the house with a speed of 50 kilometers per hour. Candy also left at the same time. So, sabay siya na umalis. Pero, nag-travel siya sa opposite, in the opposite direction at a speed of 65 kilometers per hour. How many hours do they have to travel to be 575 kilometers apart? So, anong gagawin natin dito? Now, just a quick little shout out kay Mimi at saka kay Candy. Again, all of these names that I use in these problems are names that you left for me to use dun sa mga earlier videos. So, if you want me to use your name or your loved one's name sa susunod na mga videos natin, don't forget to leave it as a comment dito sa video na ito. Okay? Ni isa isa ko sila. Alright, so isolve na natin muna ito. Now, the first thing that we have to understand is that they are traveling in the opposite direction. So, much like yung ginawa natin last time with finding yung uh, speed, ganun din yung itsura niya. So, kung ito yung distance, pareho sila ng pinag-alisan, pero one of them would be traveling to the right, the other will be traveling to the left. So, now we have two distances. Yung distance na tinravel ni Mimi, at saka yung distance na tinravel ni Candy. Okay? Tapos ang sabi, after some time, magiging 575 kilometers apart daw sila. So, ibig sabihin, hab habang tumatakbo sila, darating ang oras, magiging, ang total distance niyan would be 575 kilometers. So, yung ginagamit natin before, which is yung dalawang distance combined is equal to yung distance ng na total, will still be our formula for this problem. So, again, that would be distance no first character, which is si Mimi, plus yung distance to the travel ni Candy, equal daw yan dun sa 575 kilometers, which is yung combined na distance nila pag mag-travel sila after some time. Hindi natin alam kung time, pero this we know. Now that we have that, we can start substituting yung information dun sa problem. Start tayo dun sa kay Mimi. Dahil ang distance is equal to speed 
times time, kukunin natin yung speed ni Mimi. Ang speed daw niya ay 50 kilometers per hour. So, let's take that, 50. Mumultiply natin siya doon sa time. So, ang time hindi natin alam. So, that becomes our x. Tapos, plus, and then yun namang kay Candy. So, yung kay Candy naman na speed, ang sabi, nag-travel daw siya 65 kilometers per hour. So, that would be 65. Tapos, dahil sabay silang umalis at wala namang sinabi na huminto sila, ibig sabihin, pareho sila ng oras na tumatakbo sila. Equal daw yan sa 575. And this is what we're going to solve. So, i-add lang natin yan. Pag nagmumultiply kasi tayo dito, i-copy lang natin. So, that would be 50x plus 65x is equal to 575. I-add natin tong dalawa. That would give us 115 x is equal to 575. I-divide natin both sides sa 115. Again, we are just following yung rules ng equalities para ma-cancel natin ito at maiwan yung x sa isang side. So, now we have x is equal to, i-divide natin ito, this will give us 5. Okay? So, the answer is 5 hours. So, 5 hours silang kailangan tumakbo para maging 575 kilometers yung layo nila sa isa't isa. So again, you just divide. Now, um, you can kind of do things mentally the more that you practice math. But of course, if uh, hindi kaya pa, you can write it down as this, 575 divided by 115, tapos magdi-divide ka lang ng ganyan. Ang thing lang is when you're taking exams, actually what I go through, since that's what you're going to do rin naman if you're dividing like this, I just estimate first so, ilan tayang 100 ang kakasya sa 500? Siyempre, 5, di ba? So, yun na agad yung itetest ko. So, imumultiply ko agad siya sa 5. At dahil uh, may technique tayo sa times 5, right? Which is, you divide it by 2 and multiply it by 10. If you haven't seen that video, ililigo na lang din sa taas, ha? Dahil alam ko lagi yung 5 at na may mental math ko yun ang mabilis, I test numbers sa 5 agad. Pag, pag sumobra siya, it has to be lower than 5. Kung kulang, dadagdagan ko yung 5. Now, again, using yung technique natin sa multiplying by 5, yung 115 times 5 is actually 575. So, flat na yun. Kaya alam ko agad na 5 hours yung sagot. Okay? So, again, if you want to, re to learn or relearn yung speed math technique, yun, ililink ko na lang sa taas. Now, let's try a different setup. Paano kung ganito yung problem? So, Jimmy, so by the way, uh, if you're watching this, Jimmy, uh, birthday niya daw ng June 9. So, uh, i-release ko to ng June 8. So, medyo advanced tayo ng onte. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Sabi niya, uh, nag-leave daw siya sa bike. So, Jimmy left on his bike with a speed of 22 kilometers per hour. So, umbilis niya mag-bike, di ba? Timmy also left at the same time in the same direction. So, this is different sa problem kanina. Again, you have to be extra careful when solving motion problems kasi iba yung mangyayari kung same direction sila kaysa kung opposite direction sila. So, nung si Timmy naman, ano naman siya same direction this time, ang speed ay 16 kilometers per hour. The question is, how many hours should they travel para maging 21 kilometers apart sila? So, solve na natin ito. Again, this is just the same problem. Na kung nagtatravel sila sa same direction, ibig sabihin, kung pa ganito, si Jimmy, pa ganyan din si Timmy. So, ibig sabihin, ang magiging distance din nila, ang magiging uh, operation din natin would be a lot like this. So, yung absolute value ng distance ni Jimmy minus yung kay Timmy, equal daw siya dapat dun sa end result, which is 21 kilometers. So, ganyan yung mangyayari dito. Okay? So, ngayon, using that, again, we discussed this in yung video natin last week, ang isa-substitute na natin would be something like this. Dito na natin siya kukunin. So, kunin muna natin yung speed ni Jimmy. Ang speed niya ay 22 kilometers per hour. So, now you have 22. Imumultiply natin dun sa time, which is, again, hindi natin alam. So, that becomes our x. Tapos, minus natin yung kay Timmy. Ang kay Timmy naman, ang sabi, ang kanyang Speed ay 16 kilometers per hour, so this will be 16. Imumultiply din natin dun sa hindi natin alam na time. Equal daw sila sa 21. Okay? So, so solve lang natin ito. Now, we have 22x minus 16x is equal to 21. So, ito, so subtract lang natin yan. 22x minus 16x is actually 6x. Okay? 6x is equal to... 21, i-divide natin siya sa 6, 
Okay? Para makancel natin ito. And now you have x is equal to 6, 12, 18. So, 3.5 hours. Okay? So, the answer is 3 and a half hours. Or, kung i-convert natin ito, magiging 3 hours and 30 minutes. Okay? It's just the same. Now, a lot of you are asking din kung paano nako-convert yung decimal or yung number ng hours into hours and minutes. If you haven't seen yung series natin on converting units of time, ililink ko na lang din dito yung video para maka-catch up kayo. Pero yun yung ginawa natin doon. Now, bakit ganun ko, ganun ko siya dinivide? Uh, again, you can use yung traditional method na isusulat mo siya under the bracket. Pero ako kasi pag nagmamadali na, that's what I do. So, I just keep count. So, 6, 12, 18. Tapos may remainder, may tirang tatlo. Since 3 over 6 is 1 half, so it's 7.5 yun, kaya 3.5. So again, kapag, uh, if they're traveling in opposite directions, yung formula natin nagiging plus, pero kapag same direction sila, like this one, dapat minus yung dalawang distance, okay? Now it's your turn, so we're going to have your quick quiz. Three questions ito, and then at the end of uh, three minutes, I'm going to solve it with you guys. So if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Let's start with uh, problem number one. Sabi Darius. Uh, so again, hi Darius and Patrick. So Darius left school and drove with a speed of 78 kilometers per hour. Patrick also left at the same time in the opposite direction. Okay, so again, very important. Yan. At a speed of 72 kilometers per hour. How many hours do they have to travel to be 450 kilometers apart? So again, ito na yung ating distance. Opposite direction sila. So, ibig sabihin, ang gagamitin natin yung addition. I-add natin yung distance ni Darius sa distance na kinover ni Patrick. 
para lumabas yung total distance which is 450 kilometers. So, substitute lang natin. Ang speed ni Darius ay 78 kilometers per hour. So, 78. I-multiply natin dun sa hindi natin alam kung gaano katagal sila. So, that would be X. Tapos, plus yung kay Patrick na speed which is 72 kilometers per hour. Tapos, i-multiply din natin dun sa nawawalang time. Lalabas dapat, 450. So, now, again, just solving down, you have 78X plus 72X is equal to 450. Add natin to, we have 70, dalawang 70. I'm using yung split and solve technique natin sa addition. So, that is 140 plus 10, 150X is equal to 450. Divide natin both sides sa 150 para makancel po ito. So, may iwanan yung X is equal to 450 divided by 150. That would be 3. So, the answer is 3 R's. Again, very simple, patterned after yung first problem that we discussed. Now, it's time for us to try yung susunod na problem, which is, paano naman kung same direction. Okay? So, this time, it's about 30. Sabi, 30 left with a speed of 82 kilometers per hour. His mom also left at the same time, pero they're going the same direction. So, kung si 30, paganyan, yung nanay niya, paganyan. Okay? So, pareho sila ng ng direction. So, this time, ang ating magiging formula would be yung distance ni 30 minus yung distance ng kanyang mommy, lalabas yung distance nila kapag sila ay um, nag-travel at kung gano'n sila ka magtalayo, which is 26 kilometers. Okay? Again, substituting lang yung information that we have, 82 yung speed ni 30. So, gagawin natin dito 82 times yung nawawalang time, which we don't know. Minus yung speed ng kanyang mommy. Ang mommy niya ay 74 kilometers per hour. Times yung x uli, which is the number of hours ng mommy mag-isa. So now we have 26 kilometers. So solving it down lang again, 82x. Tapos minus 74x is equal to 26. So subtract lang muna natin ito. 82 minus 74 is 8. x is equal to... 26. Divide natin both sides sa 8 para makancel yung 8 dito sa left side. May iwan yung x. x is equal to 8.16.24. So, we have 3. Tapos, 3 and 2 over 8 or, dahil ang 2 over 8 is 1 fourth or 0.25. So, your answer would be 3.25 hours or kung gagawin mo siyang hours and minutes, that would be 3 hours and Ilan ba ang one-fourth ng 60 minutes? That would be 15 minutes. Okay? Now, why am I pointing out na may iba-ibang ways para isulat ito? Kasi sa maraming exams, whether you're taking yung civil service, UPCAT, LAEFIL, SAT, or mga job application exams, minsan, ang binibigay nila is this form, minsan ganito, minsan fraction. So, you have to understand kung ano yung mga iba-ibang ways to write the correct answer down. Kasi baka walang nakalagay doon na 3.25. So, kung walang 3.25, we have to know na ang answer would be either 3 and 1 fourth hours or 3 hours and 15 minutes. Okay? Alright, so number 3, this is a little bit more challenging kasi iba na yung pagkakasabi sa tanong. Pero again, you already have all you need um, para maintindihan ito. Lalo na if you've been following this channel for a long time. So, you should be more familiar now with how things are said pagdating sa mga math problems. So, sabi dito, two vehicles left a house going in opposite directions. Again, very important yung word na opposite. Car A is driving a third times, ito na, a third times faster than car B. So, yung iba dyan medyo, ano na ibig sabihin yan? Babalikan lang natin yung basics, okay? So, uh, we'll talk about that. Don't worry. Sabi, if car B speed it's 60 kilometers per hour, and after some time, they were 320 kilometers apart. How long were they driving for? So, tingnan natin yung drawing ulit, balikan natin. So, they're traveling in opposite direction. So, ibig sabihin, ia-add natin. Distance ni car A sa distance ni car B, yun ang magiging 320 kilometers. Kaya na ang tanong, ano nga yun yung speed ni car A? Kasi sabi, car B speed is 60 Pero ilan yung kay car? Eh, ang sabi dito, driving daw siya one-third times faster. 
So, one-third times na mas mabilis kesa kay car B. So, ano sinabi natin? Yung kay car B speed ay 60 km per hour. Ano ang one-third nito? Ang one-third ng 60 km per hour, again, 60 times one-third lang, would be 20 km per hour. So, kung one-third siyang mas mabilis kesa kay car B, ibig sabihin, ang speed ni car A ay 60, which is yung speed ni car B, plus yung one-third ng speed na yan, which is 20. So, si car A is 80 km per hour. Okay? Now, kung medyo naguluhan doon, balikan natin yung, fo yung focus ninyo sa, sa fractions, sa equation construction, yung mga basics. Okay? A lot of those we already discussed in earlier videos. So, kung bago kayo sa team, make sure to go through yung uh, entire playlists natin, mga older videos natin. Um, you can find all of the lessons that are important dito. Doon. So, balikan nyo yung fraction fundamentals natin. Okay? Now that we have that, we can start solving dito. So, again, yung kay A, ang speed niya ay 80 km per hour. And solve na natin kanina. I-multiply natin sa nawawalang time. Plus, and then we have yung kay car B, which is 60 km per hour. Tapos, i-multiply natin dun sa X din. Equal daw yan dapat sa 320 km. Solving it down, you have 80x plus 60x is equal to 320 kilometers. Tapos, ito, pagsasamahin lang natin. So, this will be 140x is equal to 320. Divide both sides by 140 para makancel natin ito. So, now you have x is equal to ilan yan? So, 140, 280. So, from 280, malapit na yan sa 320. You have... 40 na lang na natitira. Okay, so 40 over 140. So that would be ilan yan? 2 and uh, i lowest terms lang natin ito. Uh, kung i-divide natin siya pareho sa 20, that would be 2 over 7. Alright, so 2 and 2 over 7 or kung i-decimal natin to, this will be 2.2857 or 2.29. Okay. Now, a quick little trick if you're taking tests, lalo na kung nagmamadali kayo, the, the moment na you see na may two hours, look at the options right away. Now, you're looking for an option na more than two hours, pero hindi aabot sa three. So, that, now, by process of elimination, may mga options dyan na pwede ka nang tanggalin. Tapos, kung nag-iisa lang yung nag-fit sa description na yun, you can actually use that as your answer right away. Para lang mas mabilis, kasi lalo na sa mga nag-take ng multiple choice na exams, ang pinakakalaban nyo dyan is time. So, the moment that you see na ang answer is 2 or a little over 2, tinan nyo agad yung options. Okay? Now, I hope you got all the questions correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account then sa ating quick quiz function sa Instagram. Sorry, so if you don't follow me yet, follow me at like a maravillo on Instagram. And just a quick little update, we do have our TikTok accounts right now, yung at Team Laika for the math and English lessons and at like a maravillo for the personal and motivational stuff. Uh, I hope to see you there and uh, uh, yeah, just keep practicing para mas bumilis pa kayo. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and kung mag-exam din sila. Dato yung masalami tayong matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I made, join the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlika for more information. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe na. Hit that bell for all notifications. Marami pa tayong mga videos coming up and I would hate for you guys to miss it. As we always say sa team na to, never stop learning. Adja, adja. Kain yan. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.